there are different types of letter of credits that are used in supporting trade transactions namely revocable and irrevocable lc confirmed and unconfirmed lc transferable and non transferable lc site and use and lc standby letter of credit revolving letter of credit etc today we are going to discuss about transferable and non transferable lc i have done a short video on letter of credit where i have mentioned what is a letter of credit and how the whole process of an lc functions the link of the same is mentioned in the description box below kindly refer to the same so that you can have a better understanding of this topic as well for those who are watching my channel for the first time i am francis mervin fernandez a chartered accountant by profession qualified from the institute of chartered accountants of india now what is a transferable lc transferable lc is a letter of credit where the beneficiary can transfer either whole or part of the lc to one or more beneficiaries that means when an lc is being received from a buyer the seller who is the beneficiary can transfer the lc to his supplier of the goods that are covered under the same lc this process is possible in transactions where the seller is not the manufacturer of the goods and he is just a middleman who arranges the supplier of the goods to the ultimate customer normally in an lc there are four participants the buyer seller buyer's bank and the seller's bank the buyer is referred to as the applicant and the seller is referred to as the beneficiary in a transferable lc there will be two more participants that is the supplier or the manufacturer to whom the lc is being transferred and their respective bank the seller who transfers the lc is referred to as the transferer or the first beneficiary and the supplier or manufacturer to whom the lc is being transferred is referred to as the transferee or the second beneficiary there is no restriction as to the number of suppliers to whom the lc can be transferred so based on that there can be more participants in a transferable lc basically a transferable lc includes applicant applicant bank first beneficiary first beneficiary bank second beneficiary and second beneficiary bank the second beneficiary cannot further transfer an lc that he has received now how does a transfer lc come into place the buyer who wants a support in his trade transaction approaches his bank which is the applicant bank and applies for a lc to be issued to the seller the applicant bank issues the lc based on the accepted terms and conditions and the swift message of the same is sent to the seller's bank which is the first beneficiary bank now that lc is being intimated to the first beneficiary now the seller who is the first beneficiary wants to make a payment to his supplier for the goods that are covered under the same lc so he approaches his bank which is the first beneficiary bank and applies for transferring the same lc to his supplier or the manufacturer so the first beneficiary bank issues a transfer lc to the second beneficiary's bank and the second beneficiary bank intimates the supplier or the manufacturer regarding the lc which has been transferred here one point that has to be taken care is that all the terms and conditions of the original lc is transferred to the second beneficiary without any change except for the latest shipment date the expiry date of the lc and the amount of the lc the lc can be transferred to a second beneficiary only if it has been specifically mentioned that the lc is a transferable one every lc that does not have a clause stating that it is transferable would be treated as a non transferable lc having seen that the transfer lc has been issued the second beneficiary directly ships the goods to the applicant of the lc all the documents for the shipment namely invoice packing list certificate of origin transport documents etc intended for the seller is being submitted by the second beneficiary to his bank and the second beneficiary bank couriers all these documents to the first beneficiary bank once a first beneficiary bank receives these documents they intimate the first beneficiary regarding the same now 
the first beneficiary has to submit all the documents namely invoice and all related documents intended for the applicant to his bank which is the first beneficiary bank now all the documents that are submitted by the first beneficiary along with the original transport documents that has come from the second beneficiary bank will be couriered by the first beneficiary bank to the applicant bank and the applicant bank intimates the applicant regarding the document arrival if the documents are in agreement with the terms and conditions of the lc the applicant would proceed in accepting these documents and collect the original documents from the applicant bank to facilitate the shipment clearing process now once the documents are accepted the applicant bank sends the acceptance advice to the first beneficiary bank and the first beneficiary bank intimates the first beneficiary regarding the acceptance now the first beneficiary bank sends the acceptance advice to the second beneficiary bank for the documents that were submitted under the transfer lc and the second beneficiary bank intimates the second beneficiary regarding the sale on the maturity date of the lc documents that has been submitted the payment would be transmitted from the applicant bank to the first beneficiary bank from which the amount related to the transfer lc document submitted would be transmitted to the second beneficiary bank and that would be credited to the second beneficiary's bank account so the balance after the transfer lc documents would be credited to the first beneficiary's bank account for example if the value of the documents submitted by the second beneficiary to the first beneficiary is 10000 and the value of documents submitted by the first beneficiary to the applicant is 15000 on the maturity date of the transaction 15000 would be transmitted from the applicant bank to the first beneficiary out of which 10000 would be transmitted to the second beneficiary bank that 10000 would be further credited to the second beneficiary's bank account so the balance 5000 would be credited to the first beneficiary's bank account this is how the whole process of a transfer lc functions hope you have understood what is a transferable lc and a non transferable lc who are the participants involved and how the whole process of a transferable lc functions thanks for watching see you in the next video